In our last episode, Ron Andrus introduced us to Sergeant Aaron Mutter. This Marine combat instructor swapped places with a drill sergeant so the Army and Marines can learn from and share how each trains their new recruits. In this episode, Ron brings us part two of how Sergeant Mutter provides Fort Benning basic trainees the Semper Fi experience. Cover your move! Move right! Save it! Sergeant Aaron Mutter came to Fort Benning recently to get some first-hand experience of how infantry basic training is conducted on Sand Hill and share how Marine combat instructors take care of business and train their new infantrymen. It's both advising as well as instructing. I can bring what I can from the, the Marine Corps side on how we utilize our tactics from our doctrine and then see what some type of differences are as well as similarities. He's getting the full experience out of all of us. So that way he can take back the whole knowledge base back to his Marines instead of just one guy's perspective on, on this platoon. Most of the stuff that we're learning is a lot of the similarities. There's not a whole lot that is different than what we do. For the Army and the Marines, combat all boils down to the infantry squad but they do things a bit different. There's a squad is different. His has got three teams versus ours have two teams. That breakdown itself could bring more firepower in different aspects or how they're gonna maneuver through the terrain. So far, that's the biggest part as far as on the ground type stuff. We're very huge on maneuvering on the enemy, being able to take it to him. Maneuver warfare, the small unit movement is what wins wars. I'm very interested to see how the squad leader interaction is, the movements that they do, how their squad makeup is. So whoever that least decisively engaged is, can they move around? Can they use defilade or some concealment to get on the other side of the enemy and push through. And so I'm curious to see what the difference is with only having two teams, vice three. While working together, these infantry brothers will share each other's tactics, techniques, and procedures, learn about their differences, and see if there's anything they could take away to improve their own training. You're pointing it at somebody, you're shooting them. Not the dirt, not the berm, not the building, the person, right? Yes, sir. So if he's shooting, he's doing what? Aiming at the target. Covering he's covering you so you can move. You see that? That's one big difference that we have from you all is that we don't talk. We're not big into talking because it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to hear. As soon as that, it sets in, as you can see now, you know, even if you had ear pro or people are yelling, you're not going to understand. People are going to be chaotic. Things are going to be going down. So if you can see your direct front, if the target in front of you is going down, that means he's covering you. Because you get hit, you're going to be feeling something. You're probably going to go down. So one hit Bob, they'll shoot it. That target's going down. He's covered. He can make that movement. And as soon as he gets down, he goes and covers his buddy. As soon as he starts hitting that target, his buddy can make the movement. So it's just a little bit different. I do like how they play in with the casualty, though, and they pull him out. Because, I mean, that's a very realistic aspect to war. This exchange of Army drill sergeants for Marine combat instructors is just another great way the services can share and learn from each other and better train their infantrymen. And at the end of the day, the trainees are the winners. Yeah, I tell these privates, for me, from being a drill sergeant, for me being a special forces guy, and then you also got a Marine infantry guy standing in front of you, taking his experience, take my experience and some of the other drill sergeants. This should be like the best experience of your entire life. You are getting the best standing in front of you. It's definitely worthwhile seeing there are other people out there doing a very similar job and seeing how they do it and seeing why they do it. And so it's been great. It's something that it kind of takes the blinders off a little bit. He added a very unique and different taste by showing us different techniques and showing us marine strategies and marine way of weapon techniques and layouts. It can only better us. There's nothing that we're going to do worse. It gives a better understanding of the service and how it, they're instructed over here. So that later on, just for me teaching this class when I get back, I can tell them exactly what the Army does and that it's not that different overall. And to ski maneuver, you, you should be able to just side by side and go into a conflict together, come out all success. This experience provides soldiers and Marines a great opportunity to get to know each other better and build camaraderie between the services. It is nice to you know hang out with the Marine like I did before. I had very, very good experience with them in Afghanistan. Covering! Good times. <laughs> that was nice. Hell yeah, good hits. Yeah, I don't think I either. You it all. It's pretty dead even. Pretty SF good. Marine, are we gonna do this again? Yeah. All right, let's go. He's definitely an audible Marine. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.